We've all heard that social distancing and wearing a mask can help prevent the spread of a disease during a pandemic, but how do these strategies actually work? It all starts with a number scientists use called r naught which is the measure of the average amount of people each contagious person will infect. The r naught for a disease isn't a fixed number though. It can change depending on a variety of factors such as environment, climate, and demographics. That's why the r naught is usually a range of numbers that describe the maximum epidemic potential of a disease. If r naught is 1, then on average, each sick person infects just one other person. But if the r naught is greater than 1, let's say 3, then one person infects 3 others, who in turn infect another 3 others. You can see this can grow exponentially and quickly overwhelm hospitals that just don't have enough equipment to help everyone. The goal of public health strategies then is to get this r naught number lower than 1. If the r naught is 0.5, then the opposite happens, and the disease will have nowhere to go and will eventually die out. To explain why the most commonly suggested public health strategies are effective, we can use one of the most basic models of infectious disease called the SIR model. The first letter of the model, S, means the number of susceptible people, which are all the people that can contract the disease in a population. When the number of susceptible people decreases from things like vaccination, r naught will also decrease because there are less people for an infected person to transmit the disease to. This is why vaccination lowers r naught. It increases the amount of people immune to the disease, which lowers the number of total people that can be infected. Next, we have I, the total number of infected people. Some diseases have a longer infectious period than others, meaning that you are contagious for a longer amount of time. The longer the infectious period of a disease is, the more likely a person who has it can transmit the disease to other people. An infected person can only transmit a disease to an uninfected, susceptible person by coming into close contact with them. And upon this contact, there is some chance for the transmission to be successful. This chance is called the infection rate. So looking at this from a disease's perspective, the number of contacts between people are opportunities for it to spread, and the infection rate is a chance for each of these opportunities to succeed. Now we can see why minimizing the number of contacts through social distancing and quarantine directly lower the number of infections. There are simply less opportunities for a disease to spread, and wearing masks and washing your hands decreases the chance that these transmission opportunities are successful. Combined, lowering both contacts and infection rate can help lower the r naught and flatten the curve. Finally, we have R, the number of recovered people. As testing increases, infected people can get identified faster and can get treatment before they infect others, therefore bringing down the contact rate and the r naught value. To recap, we have shown that policies like social distancing and wearing a mask can lower the r naught value as explained by the SIR model. Now hopefully we can apply these policies to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and save more lives.